of uh, technical questions, if I might, Mr. Moderator. Um, it's my understanding that um, according to this uh, RSA, uh, the vote to adopt the question shall conform with RSA 40, colon 14, Roman 6. Instead of B? Well, that's what it says. In, uh, I, I just printed it out last night. Yeah, I got a copy of it. Let me... Uh... How is it going? 40, 40 colon 14, Roman 6. All right, let's take a look at that. That's it? Yeah, that's defined in B, yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. Now, if you reference uh, Roman 6, it says... It's a, it's a little confusing, although it first appears clear, <laughs> like a lot of laws. Yeah. It says... If a three-fifths majority, so while it's our present presentation says a majority vote required, Roman 6 says a 60% majority is required. Um, I know that is not, was not in the petition, uh, but it, it, I think it ought best be resolved now. Yes. Uh, but further, Ms. Mr. Moderator, I'll point out the rest of that sentence also reads, uh, a majority of those voting on the question vote yes, RSA 40 colon 13, shall apply. So it's cross-referencing cross to a different RSA, so I'm not sure whether this applies, although there is an explicit reference to it. There's an explicit dereference as well. <laughs> yeah. So the issue, and in, in this may not be the moment to, um, to rule on it. It may take Mr. Gerald some study, but the point has raised, and uh, I understand the petitioners didn't include majority vote required, but the issue is what um, what type of vote is required to shift uh, development of the um, or calculation of the default budget to the budget committee. Is it majority yeah. or is it three-fifths? So That's point correct. well taken and, and um, I, I know the town will, uh, will need to look at that and uh, get us an answer before those ballots are printed so that we can alert the voters whether it's a three-fifths or a majority. Thank you. Um, and the other, the other point was that uh, um, this RSA also requires that the governing body, which is, of course, the Board of Selectmen, uh, hold a public hearing on this matter. And uh, it has to take place no later than 30 days, no more than 30 days prior to the election, so and, that, and not, not less than 15 days. And it requires a seven-day notice. Okay. okay. So we're looking at, we need to have, uh, your notice needs, to, the Board of Selectmen's notice needs to go out within the next week or so. Okay. Uh, or this becomes potentially an invalid petition because of that duty not being performed. So I wanted to highlight that to be sure that we're that gets all, done. all aware of that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay.